Yeah. Wow. Bit of focus? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Hey guys, it's Benji and Anthony here and welcome to the bar for the Howard the Duck review. Uh, this movie sucks. <laughs> it was amazing. I love it. It's nostalgic. Not really. I just love it as a kid. <laughs> um, but I do know why this movie was bad. But welcome to, again, What welcome. to Watch Wednesdays, our, so, our new feature. Whack Wednesdays. Whack Wednesdays. Yeah, so. <laughs> Whack. So we were going to talk about a little bit of movies that a lot of the box office, you know, reviewers, you know, people just said these movies are bad. General Got humanity. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. I, I love this movie. So let's get in. Let's just go in. We're going to do this quick because this movie was not too long, but... First of all, I have to say you owe me two hours of my life back. <laughs> I cannot believe we got to see this movie. Uh, I watched it over the weekend. Heart of the Duck, released in 1986, directed by Willard Huck. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. Uh, stars uh, Chip Zian as Howard the Duck. Um, one of the voices. One of the, is, it, is there a voice? There's multiple, uh, multiple actors and people because it was like Yoda, so someone um, played actual Howard the Duck, which I thought was great. But yeah, I don't know. Leah great. Thompson plays Beverly, his love interest. Tim Robbins, which is actually surprisingly good, uh, he's uh, very young in this movie, uh, plays Phil, which is like a scientist friend. Mm -hmm. And then my favorite of the whole film is uh, Jeffrey Jones, who plays Dr. Oh. Walter Jennings. He also plays a dark overlord at the end of the movie. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't watch this movie. If we spoil it for you, it's a good thing that we're doing this for you. Trust me. Yeah, so it, it was, I don't know, it was fun to me. You know, it starts off as Howard the Duck um, walking around in a duck-infested world. So it's a different universe. Remember, this is a Marvel, I think it's a Marvel character. So they, you know how they talk about multiverses? Well, he was right. in a world where ducks were the, the humans. Crime, yeah. You know, so they were living in a world where that happens. And, um... One of the things that I thought was funny was all of the little puns. They made a, a Raiders of the Locks Ark pun. You saw Rolling Stone pun. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, they saw Play Duck. Sorry for that, kids. Um, we saw some pretty crazy duck scenes in that one. Um, but yeah, that was pretty funny. So it's the like human world, but with ducks. Which is crazy because apparently this was a PG movie, right? Yeah, PG movie for kids. And it was like, That's, this is not PG. That was the, one of the problems that I had. Uh, with um, PG, right there. PG. One of the things I found that I was like, who is this movie for? Is it for adults? Is it for children? Is it for comic book people? I don't know. I didn't understand this film. Yeah, he gets pulled. In, he gets pulled. Like he just this chair starts shaking. Gets pulled into our universe. Brings yes. him in, right into Beverly's lap. You know, he she kind of like falls into this alley. He meets Beverly because it saves her life. This She's rock and roll a, chick, yeah, pretty, which pretty cool, like cool. jamming the holograms type ish thing. Yeah, like a, like a glamour rock kind of thing. So that, right. that you know, it's the eighties, so that was a big thing. A lot of crinkly hair, a lot of hairspray. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, like it just gets into that where he saves her life with his quack foo. <laughs> like <laughs> There's I said, a lot this of movie, duck puns. yes, yeah, this so. is oversaturation of <laughs> duck puns. Um, so he goes on this adventure. He wants to know why he's here, who brought him, why um, they meet up with this uh, team of scientists. Uh, Jeffrey Jones and he says oh we have to send you back tonight because the configuration is still the same so they brought him in with the laser so right. they, they were trying this laser was to just kind of see like how far to this measure, gas was right. you know is to measure Alpha Centauri. But, um, something happened got in the way brought him in you know science whatever like fake science of course um, brings him in to this universe and a single feather falls down the thing and that's how they, that's how they kind of realized that it was that something came through you know right so he goes through this concept of adapting to the world which is something that a couple people didn't like you know um, someone mentioned to me that he adapted way too fast this happened within days one or two days into this and he adapted right away into society like it was okay you know hey you know it's a duck who cares just give him a job right at uh hotel where provocative things were happening kind of thing. So after an hour of bad uh, a acting and bad writing, uh, we get towards the fact that, okay, we now know that um, that they can open this portal and they're going to send them back, but um, there's this dark overlord that takes over <laughs> or something? Big, so the movie goes from, hey, the Howard the Duck's life to, hey, and there's an alien. The aliens <laughs> coming to, you know, destroy us. Big which, twist. I don't know. Um, for me, this movie is in three parts. My favorite part was the end. I thought it was tighter. The production was better. The graphic, um, I didn't know the special that. effects 
were better. Even the duck looked better. Yeah, like it, to me, one of them was fatter than the other. It was, and then like eyes were different. Yeah, it, it was is weird. surprising that George Lucas is attached to this. And you know, <laughs> I did not like this film at all. Um, I, I honestly was like, I cannot believe I'm doing this for Ben. I cannot believe I'm watching this. <laughs> but um, I will say that there are some good things, like the fact that the female played uh, lead played by Beverly. I'm sorry, Leah Thompson, who plays Beverly. She uh, does. Um, do more than just look pretty. There are some scenes where she's in the bed and it's questionable. There's some kissing and I'm just like, all right, this is a little strange. But um, she does stand up for herself at the end and she, she does kind of give us a little she's girl badass. power. Yeah, yeah, and she's badass. She's badass. So, yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I love the puns. I thought, I thought they were funny. But then again, my sense of humor is very out there. It's something where I watched it as a kid and I enjoyed it. I love the way the duck looked. I feel like the costume is better than some of the costumes made now. I feel the like animatronics were really good. It yeah. was really good. It's something where it's it's realistic. It's not. It doesn't feel like it's a fake duck. It feels like if this is a real thing. It looked like this. And that's what I loved about it. The alien was, you know, it was the '80s, so technology wasn't there. Yeah, you can see that it was dropped on. It reminded me of an alien from Men in Black. Uh, it did. Yeah. Funny you should say that because yeah. I thought the same thing. Yeah, it reminded me of that, and then. Um, the Dark Overlord, uh, Dr. Walter Jennings, I thought that that was very creepy. I love that, the way he looked, how he was kind of like aging, like it was taking over right. its body, which I thought was cool. So there was good production money. Yeah, you know, it was, it was just funny things here and there, like the whole, they were going to cut him up. And they were seasoning him. Yeah. <laughs> it was this like very bad nightmare sequence that to me felt like a nightmare sequence. But uh, it was all these people standing over him and there was cleavers and there was pepper and there was salt and there was celery on his deck. And I was just like, oh. Yeah, it just like scenes like that. Like, you know, with the waitress, she was like, oh, you know, like they, he was kind of like saying the world's going to end. He's like, no, no, there's like bar fights here all the time. Don't yeah. worry about it. Or like she takes away his eggs and he gets mad. And he's like, eat oh, yeah. my egg. Like it was just... Funny things like that. I don't know. I just found them funny to me. And like, I, I think there was over a hundred duck puns in this movie alone. So many for me. They were saying, you know, weird things. But yeah, like, I, I think it's a film that people took way too serious. Looked way too into it. And I feel like they need to just go in and just watch something funny, you know, like that. I feel like that's what it is. But, you know. You liked it. Uh, what grade did you give it? I gave it a 7 out of 10. And it was because wow. it's high. And it's maybe because I was, you know, nostalgic. I love that comedy. I love that it was funny. I feel like my the people I know would love this film because it was so bad that you need to watch it kind of thing. Oh like, God. and I, it's a train wreck. It's something where it, it looks so wreck. bad. You got to watch. You got to look at it, you know. And I, I gave it a 7 out of 10. If, if it makes you happier, I give it a 6.5. But overall, I love. No, I think the animatronics. Stay true to your gun. 7. The, the animatronics, the way it was recorded in the 80s, I think it was great. I gave it a 4. I didn't even give it a 5. <laughs> I can't, I, actually, you owe me money, I think, for watching this film. Um, the only good thing at the end, there's like this concert scene where you actually hear the song. The That's song right. is actually really good. I really uh -huh. enjoyed the way he like got the guitar and played cool. to the audience. I really like that part. But yeah, so you know, if you guys want to watch it, go ahead and watch it. Like we said, it is a little bit bad if, if you don't like these type of movies. But I feel like, you know, sometimes you just need to step away from some of the serious ones. Step away from some of these great Oscar, action pictures Oscar nominated watch, watch these movies that will bring you that 80s feel to it guys so remember, I recommend go watch it hey you owe me $17 for watching that hey what's up guys it's Benji here again and Anthony and thank you again for joining us for the best review ever at the block hopefully you guys liked it and hopefully you guys go watch this film Join us next week when we'll be reviewing uh, Blair Witch, which is one of my favorite genres. And it actually, I love the first original one that came out in 1999. So this is a continuation. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy that one. So hopefully you guys can join us for that movie. Go check it out before we do the review. It will be a little spoiler review for that one. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video again. And have a good one. See you next Monday.